Now, Oprah Winfrey is a person who had a very difficult childhood, very dysfunctional family, was assaulted as a child, excuse me, and rose up to become the most successful black woman in the world. That's pretty good. No uncle in the business, no help, none of that. Did it on her own. She did it because she discovered her talent. She, nobody else. And her talent is communications. She can communicate to people of all colors, all religions. She can communicate. And the vast majority of people who see Oprah Winfrey like or love her. Okay? So she starts in Baltimore. I think she even started in a smaller place as a weather lady. And then she rockets up and becomes uh, an icon. She did it all on her own. Now, I don't know anyone, maybe you do, but I don't know anyone who doesn't respect that. I don't know anyone who resents the, that Oprah Winfrey is a billionaire. I don't know anyone. And, you know, if somebody would, I would be very, I'd say, well, what are you talking about? This woman did this honestly. She had no advantages. She overcame a lot. We talked about Barack Obama uh, yesterday in the same circumstance. Now, Oprah Winfrey became a billionaire through capitalism, all right? She formed a company called Harpo, and her product then came back to her. So she wasn't really a salaried employee after she hit it big. She used the capitalistic system to become a billionaire. Along the way, she bought 10 houses, she lives lavishly, But she also gave away an estimated $400 million, a lot of it to help children of color. $400 million, big number, okay? So I have no beef with Oprah at all. You know, sometimes I disagree with what she says, and this is one of these times I'm going to play a soundbite. But, you know, Oprah is an example of what America can offer. There is no better example. But now, Ms. Winfrey has jumped on the white privilege train, which is a bad train in many, many ways. Roll the tape. There are white people who are not as powerful as the system of white people, the caste system, but they still no matter where they are on the rung or the ladder of success, they still have their whiteness. I live in this white community and I don't have black friendship. That plagues me. And as white people, we, we, even the poorest of the poor, I feel still has a leg up. Um, yeah, and really the leg up is what I was saying. You still have your whiteness. That's what, the, that's what the term white privilege is. That whiteness still gives you an advantage no matter what. Now, Black disadvantage? Okay, I'll give you that. In many places in this country, if you're African American, you're at a disadvantage. That's true. And for anyone to deny it, they're not being honest. Not everywhere. In fact, most places are very accepting of African American job applicants or school scholarships, as we pointed out with Barack Obama. But there are places that aren't, because there are bigots in every country, in every county, in every town. And that is something that African Americans see. But that doesn't mean that because you're born a Caucasian, you have some kind of privileged status. You don't, not in this country. Now, in South Africa, when apartheid was in place, yeah, you did. But not here. So Oprah and I, we disagree on this. And she would never even listen to me, I don't believe. But if she did, um, there would be no common ground. I am not going to give in to this white privilege stuff. Because I don't believe it. I've never believed it. If you are an African-American child, 
and you can do what Oprah did and find your talent. And that's why I believe in God, because every human being has a talent. If you're autistic, if you're Down syndrome, you have talent. If there were no God, if it was all about evolution, right, there'd be some people who couldn't do anything. That's not true. Every human being has a talent. Oprah found hers. Now, instead of this white privilege garbage, they should be in the schools teaching children of color, you can make it, but you have to do certain things. Yes, you're at a disadvantage. You may be poor. Your father may be gone. You may have a bad environment around you, but you can still do it. That's the message. Stop with this. Slavery, reparations, stop. This hurts children. And Oprah Winfrey should know this. I give a lot of money to charities that help African-American children. I don't banner it. Oprah's got a foundation. I've got a foundation. All right. I don't go out and scream and yell about it. But I believe that African-American children need more support in certain areas than white children. I believe that. You got two parents in the house and you're white and your parents are, have some assets. You got an advantage over the kid in the ghetto. But it doesn't have to do with this. So anyway, I know I'm never going to convince her but I had to address it tonight.